One of the most common commands in the Bible is the word remember. And do you know why God commands us to remember? He knows how forgetful we can be. See, when we remember all that God has done, we can celebrate His faithfulness. We can celebrate His goodness. And as we move towards the end of this year, we wanted to take the opportunity to remember all that God has done in the life of our church this year. As we celebrate His faithfulness, as we celebrate His goodness. In New Hope, it has been a remarkable year. And we wanted you to have the opportunity to hear from our pastors and our staff and our ministry leaders what they are, have seen God do and what they're celebrating through God's faithfulness this year. In church, it's a reminder for us that God has called us not only to reach, teach, and release here locally, but literally to see that vision through to the ends of the earth. Our missional footprint extends from our local community all the way to the Dominican Republic. This year, 59 individuals traveled to Las Lomas to serve alongside our partner church there, Jehovah Nisi. Their faith in God and dedication to their community always inspires us, as together we served children in Vacation Bible School, a volleyball clinic, a woman's day. We also prepared the church grounds for future building projects and poured concrete floors to increase sanitation standards in 15 homes within the community. We are thankful for this partnership and excited for all the future holds together. One of our main areas of focus has always been to be a church on mission in our community to be a light into the world. Across our 15 ministry partners here in the Triangle, we've had over a thousand volunteers support causes. We also hosted another amazing effort with Rise Against Hunger in which 800 volunteers packed 150,000 meals. It's because of your support and dedication that we're able to help our local community partners propel their missions and reach all of God's people. 2023 began in unity with hundreds of us participating in 21 days of prayer and fasting, setting the tone for the year to come. As we completed the fast, it was so clear that we desired to go deeper. So sticking with the spirit of togetherness, 722 of you joined one of our discipleship courses. At Reveal Events, women flourished and thrived in their faith while being in community. As a church, we continue to grow deeper and grow in our relationships with God and with one another. People are hungry for community and for a place to call home. And many are finding it right here at New Hope Church with over 750 people stepping through our doors for the first time this last year. And it has been awesome to see so many of them get connected in a life group, a place where they can make friends and grow in their faith together. And God is stirring in people's hearts and life change is happening. We were honored to witness 118 people go public with their faith over the course of these last 12 months by stepping into the waters of baptism. Twenty twenty three was all about assembling our amazing army of volunteers, which encompass five hundred and seventy six new hopers across the ministries who serve our communities in big ways. We welcome people earlier this year to Springfest, where we were able to invite everyone to the life changing message of hope at Easter time. We were blown away when almost two thousand guests joined New Hope for our yearly Fall Fest just a few weeks ago. And without this beautiful army of people, we wouldn't be able to serve this amazing community around us with such love and excitement a love that points them to Jesus so that they too know what it looks like to step into a relationship with Him and join this phenomenal faith community. Speaking of community, this year we started NH Young Adults Off with 100 in attendance, only to see that number increase to 195 in attendance. Church, that's our young adults being released across their local cities to shine a light for Jesus. But what we're most proud of is how these young adults have poured back into their local church as well as in their local communities around them. It's so special watching those you invest in turn around and invest back into the world around them. Students have seen so much breakthrough and freedom this year. We have seen over 156 individuals come into this building on Wednesday night and encounter God, encounter His freedom, encounter His love. No matter what they came in this place with, they leave with the hope of Jesus. Here in NH Kids, one of our biggest goals is to partner with you parents as you walk with and champion your child's spiritual growth. This year, it was a joy to watch as over 200 of you committed to pray for your child on a deeper level. 54 of you parents stood before our church to say, I want to raise my child to know Jesus. It is our joy to continue to walk alongside you both on Sundays and beyond. 
So many incredible things have happened. But one of the coolest things that's happened in this worship department is that we've written five songs in this house, by this house, and for this house. And four of those songs were recorded on the first worship night that we have had here at New Hope in the past three years. Those songs will be released next year, but church, I am so excited to tell you that God is moving in such a beautiful way, and this is just the beginning. For me, 2023 will always be the year that we saw God's faithfulness in bringing us our new senior pastor. During this challenging season, I know that we were all praying together as a church family for God to clearly lead us. And as someone who served on the search team and on the board, I had a front row seat in seeing just how faithful God was. When 2023 began, we didn't know Pastor Adam nor his family, his wife Morgan, their boys, Sam, Jacob, and Henry, and they didn't know us, and yet God brought us together. There were so many spirit-led moments along the way where God spoke clearly, giving us great confidence that Pastor Adam was in fact the man God was calling to lead New Hope into the future. And I'm so grateful for Pastor Adams and his family's obedience to God's call to leave behind their lives and the great ministry they had in Alabama to be part of what God is doing here at New Hope. And I'm so grateful for how New Hope has accepted the Bishop family and made them feel right at home from day one. It's been so exciting to celebrate God's faithfulness this year. and We should all look forward with great anticipation to all that God has in store for us in 2024 and beyond. God has been so faithful to our church and what an honor to serve this beautiful faith community for nearly 15 years. Over the last year, our online experience has been thriving with close to 1 million views. That's a lot of people hearing the gospel message of hope. And just a few weeks ago, we started posting our entire Sunday experience, worship and teaching. Anyone, anywhere, anytime can stream our services and feel like they have a front row seat to all that God is up to these days. I'll leave you with this thought. Just imagine what's on the horizon and join me in praying as we lean into God's direction for greater plans and purposes to come. Love you, New Hope. Isn't it awesome to celebrate all that God has done in the life of our church this year? The stories of life change are incredible. And New Hope, here's what I want you to know. None of this happens without you. Those stories of life change are because of your faithfulness, how God has used you, not just on our campuses on Sundays, not just in the ministries that take place throughout the week, but literally every day as you go into the places God has called you to be, offering the hope that can only be found in and through the person of Jesus Christ. What an incredible year it has been. And here's what's exciting. I think we're just getting started. I believe God has greater things in store for us in this new year, greater opportunities for us to bring the hope of Jesus Christ to people in the triangle, in our region, to the ends of the earth as well. And I cannot wait to see what God is going to do as we move forward in faith together. So New Hope, let's go. I can't wait to see all that God is going to do moving forward.